I'm just going to start reading things to you, and you can get up and leave when you're horrified and grossed out. Right? <laughs> then I'll know it's working. <laughs> I ate dinner. I shouldn't have. <laughs> um, food. Uh, I just wrote this very recently. Scott's heard it before. This is a uh, kind of a listing poem. I like to just write lists sometimes. And this one is like titled Weird Juice. Stabble. Fungal berry, kiwiird cocktail, poison berry, flemonade <laughs> with extra pulp, embalmagranate, bashin berry, scab apple, <laughs> scrape juice, angerine, <laughs> spine apple, strango, slaughter melon smoothie, crampelope. Slimy. Neck nectar. <laughs> Orange. Slitrous lime. Gasp berry. Up chuck cherry. Slopica punch. Scar fruit. Scarab. Leech. There's no co coherency to that. <laughs> I don't even know if that belongs in the horror genre, but it was a fun list to compile. Uh, Hmm? I thought it was awesome. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'd love to taste some of those things. Maybe Brett Michaels. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, I wrote this one the other day uh, while I was waiting for a friend at the uh, Smoky Bones restaurant. Uh, and the Penguins game was on. And everybody was eating while I was waiting. So I wrote a poem. I just This is how I sometimes start my poetry. I'll just come up with a title. And this one is called Eating the Penguins. Skinned penguins look a little like turkeys when you thaw them. Black leather coats shorn away, I post them on my spit, and I know that only the penguin appreciates this sensation. Tongues of tickling flame, bearing a heat unfamiliar to their Antarctic belly. They soon wear black again, this time understanding color's true nature. Each bite is hot, and I imagine my gullet an iceberg slope, steaming slick as the penguin pucks glide down with glee, then sail into the air, flapping flightless fins, soon splashing into another new heat, the acid bath ocean of my starving stomach. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> what? and then we ate dinner. <laughs> that was fun, Bruce. <laughs> yeah. uh, hmm. I went through some of my... Uh, are you horrified yet? <laughs> Good. You probably thought I was going to tell ghost stories or something. I'll do that later when we get to the folks part. I'm still on food. Um, I went through my old Twitter postings looking for strange poetic things that I've posted. Are any of you on Twitter? Should we be? Yes. Well, yeah, sure. Join Twitter. Look for twitter.com slash MikeArdson. Sign up to follow me, and you will get poems like these delivered straight to your computer screen every day. Can I get them? <laughs> Just don't load up the computer when your kids are around or something. This is NC-17 stuff. Uh, it's free. Open to the public. Uh, anyway, these are sick things I posted related to food. I'm happy to share them with you tonight. All right, ready? Cordon grew. I stuffed the chicken with the ham and Swiss he clutched for security when I bore my knife. Twitter only gives you 140 characters. <laughs> I try to pack as much weird stuff into each one. Crack open the oyster. A pearl gleams wet on a human ear inside, and the sharp edge of the shell curves smug like it's smiling. <laughs> Behind the ice cream shop, that's the title. Fangs puncture child's throat, and he winces. The esophagus is still cold from the sherbet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one for some reason. <laughs> Whatever a kid is eating, I kind of like it. 
Aren't you glad you invited me? Hi. <laughs> I notice I have an awful lot of sick eating food related things. Uh, Eviscerated Ghoul. This is an old, old poem I published in a magazine called Decompositions Journal. <laughs> <laughs> Eviscerated Ghoul. Slick like so much sausage casing, casing, slippery in my hands as I scramble to get away from the empty wet husk that gloms onto my own skin like sick paper mache dries on, hardening me in place like the tattered skin statue of a maudlin and inviscerated ghoul right there in the middle of the mortuary kitchen eating my midnight snack. All chocolate is chocula. All chocolate is chocula. It seduces with its riches, wraps your desire in the cape of your mouth, inviting the sink of teeth. We never bite it gently, we always suck it to vapor, feeding off its power, until we are left only with the empty pang for more and more and more. We are undead with diabetes, obese with our obsession, unquietly unquenching while we dwell upon each melt. This one. I don't know if this involves food or not, but it's called splitting the brain. <laughs> we cut corpus colostum for dinner that evening, half for you, half for me. Oh, I see now. <laughs> <laughs> An equal share of hemispheres. But I saw that look behind your eyes when you searched around my face, clutching your knife, asking please for seconds after I chewed my last bite. <laughs> oh, I found more Twitter ones related to food. Deja food. Hot blood goes unswallowed as she frowns down at his neck. The flavor's familiar. She's bit here before. <laughs> Another one. Loaves light. That's the title. Zombies drink homebrew straight from the slippery tap of esophagus. I guess it, these have to kind of settle for yeah, a while. <laughs> this is fun. You know, these things just scroll by on the screen and, and on Twitter, so maybe you don't want to sign up for these. <laughs> Another one. He eats with closed eyes, each bite a surprise, every swallow sacred, carefree chewing, in quiet communion with the god of worms. I'll, I'll end the food portion with this uh, slice. Hi, right, come on in. The scary thing about cheese. Stop making me laugh. <laughs> it is funny. The scary thing about cheese is not its bullet hold skin. Neither its awkward aroma nor its moldy composure frighten me. No. The scary thing about cheese is that it could so easily be human, so easily taste of you, and still be melted on meat. And as you well know, there are scary things about meat. Thank <laughs> you.